Hey, hi you guys, Scorpio. Welcome to your general forecast. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do melt together. I really want to thank you guys, Scorpio, for supporting my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider weight deck two cards from the Lover's Oracle deck, and one teabag fortune message. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Sorry about this, Scorpio, but I am only the messenger. The Three of Swords, air energy. This is Saturn in Libra. This is a heartbreak and a separation. It's having learned... A hurtful truth. It's a difficult realization. A flash of understanding. Saturn in Libra tells us, try not to let fear stall us. This can be a difficult loss. Maybe someone found out about a deal breaker and now they feel isolated. Could be from someone they love. Maybe your hopes were higher than the results. This is sorrow and regret that sinks in. But this suffering comes from holding on to the past. It can be a third party or a third kind of a situation that interferes. A love triangle. Heartache. Emotional truth. Now this is a challenging situation. And cutting to the heart of the matter. It can be stormy weather for the affections. Or loss of trust due to betrayal. Empty promises. Rejection. It can be losing your job, or the end of a relationship, or talking about parting ways. Divorce. This can be harsh words, not agreeing, and it's dark and gloomy. And these hurt feelings are valid. You're not overreacting. This is an emotional rawness that needs to be allowed to run its course. You'll need to allow the pain to pass through. This is necessary for the healing process. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Scorpio. The Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be a Sagittarius. I read... Knights as mutable energy because they're in movement. Now this movement is quick. This is also a Scorpio and Sagittarius card. It's a yes card. It's air of fire. This is can also indicate a message. It can be the coming or going of a matter, change of residence, travel, changes on the horizon. This is someone that's raring to go. It's a kickstart that spurs you on. Now in these, this position, the challenge position, these energies are restricted. They're blocked. It's opposed. This is someone that can become inflexible. They can become jealous or create problems. It can be a work that's interfered with. It could be also wishful thinking. It's a real opposition with confusion and delays. This can represent someone that charges into battle with more courage than skill be a ruption, division, an interruption, a delay of message or paperwork that you might have been expecting. This could be a trip. It may have been canceled or plans made were postponed or broken off. This can be a separation from a situation. Feeling blue. Wishful thinking. You'll need to be confident in the face of challenges. 
because you bring life into the desert. The Three of Swords with the Knight of Wands is saying what needs to be said and moving forward. It can be someone unable to follow their passion due to separation or isolation. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are consciously aware of, Scorpio. Number 21 of the Major Arcana. The world. This can be a Capricorn. These... This could be travel, <clears throat> excuse me, even long distance. It can also represent the worldwide internet or someone being distant. This is a cycle of completion. It's major life changes and coming full circle. It's feeling more accomplished and being a more experienced person. There's going to be growth into a new level, and success is coming, and you're going to be victorious. You have support by unseen forces. This can be a move or a new relationship that will prosper. It's completion, reward, success, and triumph. It's the path of liberation and wisdom. It's having mastered the complexities of your inner nature and now you feel supported by your inner resources. It's fulfillment and conclusion. This is the sum of your efforts and success. It's being on top of the world. Euphoric. This is a cycle that has been completed. And now there's a new direction in thought and feeling. It's about to take place. This has been a lesson that has been well learned. The Three of Swords with the World card is moving past hurts or drama and creating sex, success for the future. It's making necessary decisions. It's identifying what really matters to you. It's wisdom. And now the truth is known so you can move forward. Here's the fourth card. The card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. And here you are, Scorpio, number 13 of the Major Arcana, Death. This card is ruled by Saturn and Pluto. Now here you are in your own reading, Scorpio, which gives you the power. This card represents change and renewal, transformation, an ending and closure. It's a major transformation and regeneration. It's a destruction followed by renewal, and it's the birth of new ideas and new opportunities after a time of pausing and reflecting and discovering what no longer fits in your life. This is a dying away of old habits, old hopes, old ways, old fears, old relationships. This experience may seem shattering, but if we welcome change, we find that death leads to new life and new possibilities. This is an opening to something more important, a metamorphosis of some sort. Now doors are opening to more satisfying experiences. It may be unexpected. And now the slate is clean and we can continue forward. The Three of Swords with the Death card, this is a relationship that is over. You'll need to rid yourself of the past, or it will prevent you from new opportunities. This can be a negative perspective based on a bad experience. It can be pursuing a plan due to a heartbreak. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of the Scorpio. The Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a Virgo. This is someone that's being more focused on getting things done. They take care of themselves and they're comfortable. This could be a very good partner to align with.
This is an air of Earth card, Mercury in Virgo. Now this knight is on a mission, and they do their duty. They're defenders, and they're solidly def de dependable. They're the worker bee, the good soldier, the farmer that works tirelessly in their fields, and they put their nose to the grindstone and they get things done. They get things done because they never give up. They're unhurried and practical and productive, purposeful reliable. They're dedicated to duty and they can be stubborn. This can be tending to practical matters that need doing. The Three of Swords with a Knight of Pentacles is trying to figure it out. And it hurt when you saw the truth of it. So you try to manage the pain by numbing it. The Knight of Wands with the World card. These are home moves, travel, looking on the internet for a place to move, or even international or overseas travel. It's traveling the world. It's a passionate new cycle. And it's a happy ending. It's reaching the finish line with others cheering you on. The Knight of Wands with the Death card is being enthusiastic to make positive changes, and you'll do this with confidence. The Knight of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles, these are deep, burning feelings. Someone's ready to move forward on something that has dragged on. This is the inspiration to act, to move. It adds drive to get up and going. It adds motivation. And now great things can be achieved but still being frustrated at the pace that things are going. Two nights in a reading represent intimacy. The world card with the death card, this is a major energies. It's a push to have a fresh start. It's ending the way it used to be. It can be compulsive activity and a sense of necessity. The world with the knight of pentacles is slowly completing a major cycle. And this new cycle brings long-term rep repetitive work in. It could be government work or something you're doing on the internet. The death card with the knight of pentacles, now the worst is over and it's making plans to move forward. It's a shock that leads to change and this change results in proceeding with care or caution. You have two of the Lover's Oracle cards from Tony Carmine Solerino. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Here's your second lover's oracle card. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Here's your teabag fortune message. What can you appreciate in this moment? What can you appreciate in this moment? Well, that's helpful because when you're in the moment, you open up the energy flow, not focusing on the past or the future. Thanks, you guys, Scorpio. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.